I'm Lance Morissette, and this is my pad. Come on in. So this place, when I first saw it, looked altogether different from this. We basically gutted it from the ground up. My friend Ross Rayom and I came together, and we both have a passion for all things Asian. And this is the kitchen area. We wanted to come up with something that looked wooden and homey enough that there wouldn't be a big disparity between the energy in the living area and the kitchen. So this is the extent of my cooking ability right here. This is my fridge here. We have some rice streams, some milk, beer for my friends. <laughs> I don't drink beer. I think beer is really disgusting. I've always wanted to drink beer because it looks so cool when you're standing there holding it. And I think that's it. So this side, we weren't really sure what to do in the corner. So um, in one of the Japanese books we looked through, there was a platform in one of the photos, and I loved that idea. Kind of a meditation area, eating, drinking tea. Sometimes I sit on my laptop. And a couple of little altars. I like the thought of having a house that has little altars every, everywhere you look. And then this is the dining area. I was looking everywhere for a table. They have those really beautiful mahjong tables, the game that they play in, I think, China only. Uh, and typically they're really small, but we found a long one that isn't used as a dining room table, but it fit here perfectly. This is Mr. Tim Thorny. Tim and I have made music together and probably for the last 10 years. One of the greatest human beings on the planet from Winnipeg, Canada. Thank you. Another Winnipeg woman, Johanna Stein, over here reading a book about healing her aloneness, which is brilliant, incidentally, <laughs> I think. I'll show you outside really quickly. If you come over here, you can see the Parliament buildings right there, the Ottawa River. Yeah, really beautiful fall day. I'm sorry the sun isn't out, but gray is pretty hot too. Over here is another altar that was similar to the one over on the platform. I had a really hard time finding altars like this in Japan itself. Ottawa seems to be teeming with them. Can you rub his belly? Stereo system in a very uh, sort of quintessential Japanese Chinese cabinet. If you come this way, I'll show you the pocket doors. We got a lot of these actual pieces straight from Asia. And one of the ideas that I had while we were gutting the whole place was that I wanted to be able to stand on one end of the condo and be able to see the entire other end if I wanted to, but also be able to close doors. This is my bedroom. We pulled the wall out so that we could have that cutaway in there. It's kind of Moroccan based. These are Turkish rugs that are throughout the place. All kinds of um, faraway lands uh, infiltrating the area. This is my altar. I use cards. I have many crystals. A lot of times I'll carry them with me. And I have a disc that I carry with me as well. A lot of times I have sort of talismans that kind of remind me of things that I may be forgetting throughout the day. Burn sage a lot. A lot of times I'll just cleanse either a, a room, I'll even cleanse myself and my friends if we come home from a particularly difficult experience. So this is my bathroom. I'm a real sucker for the old tubs. And a steam room in the shower. I squeegeed it today. Although I rarely do. So we wanted to create doors that um, resembled the temple doors. And I find that the door on the other side looks just as pretty as on the inside. <laughs> And I'm going to invite you to check it out. And thank you so much for coming here and sharing in what I really consider to be a true sanctuary for me and my travels. And it's an honor to share it with you. And take care, and I'll see you soon.